Hi everyone, welcome to your collective. All right, should you enter business now? Right after this, I'll be doing the uh, weekly grind. All right, let's see. All right, just give me a second, okay? Okay, commitment. So this is like business. Um, this is like a business um, reading. So let's see. <laughs> All right, should you enter business now? I feel like you're going to be entering a relationship because, you know, whatever came up here is more about business. All right. So it seems like there is something that you are going to be entering into. Okay, but you need to watch out and look for the signs, especially if you're going to start seeing some red and yellow butterflies or yet in yellow birds. All right. Those are going to be the signs. All right. So. Let's take a look. Hold on. I'm going to pull another um, Oracle card for you before I do the uh, general. Spaceship, don't be afraid to sing. All right, homework, take yourself out on a date. Tower, unplug and relax for a spell. Universe, we're all just stardust. Castle, it's time for healing, not war. And Sundress, do it for you. Yeah, do it for yourself. All right, so let's say, should you enter business now? All right, so you're picturing yourself having this dream of yours. You have a very, like, you know, ever since probably ever since you were young or, or ever since like you were like a, like a child, you've been dreaming about having this, but you're, you know, life kept on denying you from doing this, probably lack of money, lack of resources, wrong timing, wrong place, wrong people, or, you know, could be that people keeps on taking uh, things away from you. You've once tried this. It has something to do with an earth, earth element, all right? Probably it's an earth business or it's an earth-related service-oriented consultation. Probably it has something to do with landscaping, pottery, uh, farming, or I don't know, something like it has something to do with earth, all right? And you've been thinking, are my ideas really that <clears throat> stupid or... Am I, is it just not the right time? I feel like your ideas are brilliant, but you know the the timing is off. It's not yet the right time. Wait for your let's say for example you're born in the year of the dragon. Wait until that time comes. All right, on or after you know that's the time that you're going to be getting, um, that you're going to be getting your your luck. All right. And you will also be um, recommended or you're going to be getting a like some good news. All right. But the thing here is your own family is the one who doesn't even believe you or probably your own family feels like, oh, like 
Like, what, what are you doing? Like, why, why can't you just, you know, like stick on a like nine to five job, at least that you're going to have like a salary that you can expect to come every month. You know, they feel like you are being ridiculous for aiming for something like this. It's like they do not really believe that you can. And it seems like it made you, you know, have a disbelief about yourself and about your capacity or capability. You went through a lot of depression because... Probably that you have started this in the past, it did not really work out. You've lost a lot of money, went into a lot of debts, and you feel like, okay, yeah, it's a stupid idea if I just like bought that with this and that, if I just bought money, if I just car with this, if I just bought house with this. Probably that some of you even, um, probably even, um, sorry. Uh, probably even um like sold or put your your house in a collateral just to do this and it, you just lost now are you prepared financially this time you need to walk away and move away from wherever you are first of if you want to make major changes some of us just wants to prove a point to some people who, who actually knows us but the you know the place is not right Let's say, for example, you've, you've lived there all your life and you're looking for a change. Then you also need to take the first step to a change. Move to a different city, move to a different country, probably. And you're going to find your calling. Sometimes wherever, you know, where your locality is, they do not, you know, you're not going to be getting any support from them. But if somebody or some people do not really know you and you're going to be starting off as someone as unique or somebody that they really need and that is where you're going to be getting the recognition that you've been looking for now there is a need to move you need to move all right and if you really want to enter business november november is the best month because right now, if you're going to be pushing for it, you're going to be losing a lot of money again. Now, um, I'm picking up something about building, earth, construction, raw materials. Um, have something to do with gravel or stone. Something about cobblestones or some wood you know some wood business or something like that and you belong in a place where you can just simply relax not in a very fast pace not you know like where you have to wear a, like a tight suit you have to you know be at your best you know not you know wearing those flashy expensive stuff and you know, like your whatever that is outgoing is more than what's whatever that's incoming. And that's not that's really a bad business. OK. I mean, there's no problem if you want to stay in the city. But the business that I'm seeing here that that truly belongs to you, you need to be in a place where it's far from wherever you are right now. And. It's like almost like you are a foreign to that, all right? Or it could be like you just don't belong that. You just don't, you know, it, it's, a, it's like you're not really a local to that city. And that is where everything is going to work out for you. All right, you need to move. You need to get out of wherever you are right now. So should you concentrate in your business and not get employed? No. Stay employed, but do your business. Start your business while you have your monthly resources. Will this be more profitable? Yes, definitely. Yes. In fact, that the you know the the clients that you're also going to be getting are more of people who works for the government, or families, ranchers. 
Can you give me a figure of how much you're going to be making on your first year? Three, 30, 300. So 3,000, 30,000, 300,000. It's up to you. It depends on whatever business you have. All right. But it's number three. How soon can you make up for your losses? It's going to take some time. And also, some of you, actually, you've had a partner that run away with your money. It will be by next summer. Not this summer. It will be by next summer. All right. And you need to like really do this on your own. Travel. Uh, aim high. Aim blindlessly. Okay. Start from something small. Start from scratch. Uh, you need to work double. And you still need to work on your... And do not... Um, you know, let's say, for example, rent a place or rent a store. No, that doesn't really uh, work for you. Do it, you know, maybe like working online, start it from home, or it could be in your garage or basement or something like that. And when the time comes that next year, when you're already like doing good and things are already moving in the right direction, I feel like just expand your house, but do not rent a place i feel like it's much better if you're going to be doing it in a movable place you know like uh you know those uh like cart on uh no food on wheel or like moving resto or something like that it, now people are like you know um building their offices on a trailer or like a you know like those things that they uh that they pull from their vehicle all right, at least that you're going to be flexible. You will be able to travel <clears throat> <clears throat> and you will also be able to, you know, um, you will also be able to meet new clients, new people, be more exposed instead of just staying in one corner. And the problem here is, of course, if you will be working, how you're going to be able to do it, opt for work at home. Okay, while you're working, while you have a monthly income, then you can also start doing your business on the side. Be more practical. You're going to get stuck, you know, if you're not going to be making all these um, big decisions. It's time for you to make a change. Look at this. If you want something to change, if you want the transformation to occur, you need to find a way. All right. And that's the only time that your life will be flourishing. And that's the only time that you are going to be also going to be ready for business. All right. Yeah. And the sun will be shining through on you. All right. So... Let's take a look at the extended. All right. Which element, like, you know, water, air, fire, that you're going to be doing so much better? Or if you will be, you know, like, um, if you will be, like, making money on your first year, or will it be, like, just your losses? All right. Give me any of the four elements that collective needs to concentrate on, which is, yeah, okay, so that is earth, which they can make a start. Give me a figure of how much they're going to be making on their first year. Mm -hmm. 
can they resign from their job if this already works okay by next year? Ooh, looks like someone's going to be a new boss. All right. So hope to see you the extended. All right. <clears throat> Extended is open for members and non-members, all right? And if you want to talk to me live on the phone, live on the calls, just go visit me at my website, spaclairvine.com. You may also book a reading or chat with me around my Instagram, which is the link down there below, Sophia, Sophia Angel Clairvoyant, all right? Anyway, all the links are down there below, all right? The description box, and have a great month. Blessings to you.